Hello, hello beauties. I am here with another Dollar Tree haul for you. It has been hard to get back to doing any of this, but for some reason this is a lot easier to do than to actually um, do any of my other like crafting and my um, park lane jewelry or any of that remember fall decor is already here and anyways many many things that i had found to craft with and some of them actually helped me with my uh with the things that i had to do like i had to make some t-shirts uh for my brother's funeral and and I, I i say i had to but technically i was the one that wanted to instead of somebody uh going out there and ordering them from someone i felt like it was more personal and i wanted to do them myself so i am going to show you the things that i found before that all even happened and go from there uh, so again a dollar tree haul um i did find some goggles for my grandbabies um, one of them already took his, it was the shark ones. And then, uh, these are the, I think they're like little whales or yeah, they look like whales. I'm sorry, not whales. What am I thinking? Uh, walruses. <laughs> I said whales. So the other one was a shark and then these, um, are walruses. That's what I was trying to say. Got some hooks to do some shelving to help me in this um, room with um, organizing my stuff. There is a lot of stuff that you see in the back that I have not had a chance to put up, like jewelry shipments and so on, but I will get there. Like I said, it's been a rough one, but I I don't know. I felt the need to do this um, and uh, talk to you guys. Um, instead of anyone else um it, it's it's just it's hard and if any of you have lost a sibling or a family member an immediate family member you know it is it takes a toll on you mentally and physically i found some uh little pots little, now usually so I found two sizes. I found, found these that come in three, and then I found these. I hardly ever find this size. I usually just find this size. So I, I, I was kind of happy that I found these. Um, I, I like doing those, I doing my crafts with those, like see here, it doesn't come in white. I painted this white because I'll be doing a little project with that. Um, but yes, I found those and was very excited to find those. I got two sets and I think one of them is chipped right there, but I'll fix it. I found some, uh, a pack of 10 latex balloons and these are the, they look like, uh, you see how they're that, like that, what do you call it? I'm trying to, the multicolored, like in the actual balloon itself is multicolored. That's a, uh something that I was very happy and excited to find. I found a game called um, a bowling uh, dice game. So I'm gonna see how we can play this. Let me show you this right here that I'm super excited about. It's called the Butterfly Hummingbird Flower Rocket. It says produces countless flowers and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to try this. I don't have a green thumb and it has the instructions right there. Uh, again, I don't have a green thumb, but you never know. We'll see what happens. I really have been wanting to try to do, uh, you know, take care of some little plants and uh, we'll see. I, it's, it's something that uh, grabbed my attention and hopefully I don't kill it or hopefully it grows. I got more nautical rope and um, the cotton rope as well. That comes in very handy with a lot of the crafts that I do. Um, I also found some wood shapes. This That's a 10 piece of the dinosaurs. Uh, it's just one shape. 
but it's 10 of them for a dollar. Then I found quite a few stickers that I was super excited to find uh, for scrapbooking. The BFF stickers, that's what those look like. I also found Let's Planner stickers. And this one I liked it because it had the cheetah and things of that sort. But this one has 375. I haven't found the book that has the planning ones that has like thousands. I wish I could find that one, but I don't. I haven't, but it has just different things that you could use. Frames, dots, uh, arrows, uh, um, little notes. It's just really, really uh, a nice uh, book of stickers that it was the only one that I found that I really liked. Then I found some traveling stickers for scrapbooking as well or for any crafting that you might want to do. It has the letters in the back, and then of course the flat stickers in the middle and then the ones, the, the pop-up stickers in the front. That's how those come out usually. Then of course I found these um, stickers that you can use if you don't have a Cricut or if you don't do chalk couture, I do chalk couture as well. Um, these stickers are good for um, placing them on your crafts too. So I like these and what I like about them is uh, that they're double sided. There's three pieces actually, take that back. This said, this is three, but I only see two. Um, oh, okay, I know why it says three. Because looking is one, good is one, and then this one is one. That's why. So double-sided, and so you get two or three decals to put on your crafts. That's what I was trying to say. This one says four pieces because it's four words. Um, again, double-sided. So it, you get quite a bit for your dollar. If you don't have a Cricut, that's something good to use. Uh, and that, some more pop-up stickers. These are pretty, um, very springy, summery flowers. And then I had to get some stencils because I like working with different stencils. I do use Chalk Couture because I am a designer for Chalk Couture. Um, and I do my crafting with some of those too because they last a very long time. But I do like using stencils for many things. So I went ahead and got different ones. I got these ABCs, I got these as well, you know, um, lowercase, uppercase. I got another one of these uh, because the other one wa was folded and this one, it has to do with the C. Uh, uh, so I went ahead and got this. I got some of the self-adhesive stencils from the Dollar Tree. These don't last you as long as the self-adhesive transfers like Chalk Couture, but they will last you for at least two to four times uh, whatever craft you want to make. Um, they are not transfers technically, they're stencils, so they don't have that mesh in the back like the Chalk Couture ones do, but I still use them. If I don't have something that I, uh, in the Chalk Couture transfers that I want to use in a project, then I look for them in those stencils, um, the self-adhesive ones. And they're a dollar, so if you do one project with them and you have to throw it away, then that's fine. I mean, it's better than spending, you know, 15, 10 to 20 dollars on another self-adhesive transfer and then you mess that one up, then that one will hurt, right? That's happened to me before where I spent $10 on a self-adhesive transfer and I've messed it up and I've had to throw it away. I got these stencils as well, some stars and some love, fun, joy. I think I've I've got, um, purchased these before, but I went ahead and got some more. I like to keep at least two of each just in case I break one or, um, you know, something happens and I have another one that I can do. And I also got these. So these I thought were super amazing. I got two of the Mickey. Look at how nice they are. They're not self-adhesive. They're just regular stencils, but I want to try them to see if I can do certain crafts with them. Then I got uh, this one, the LOL Surprise. Look at how cute those are for my grandbabies. And then, then this is the Disney Princess. 
And if I'm not mistaken, I got two of these as well. They're somewhere in there. So uh, I will show you the rest of that. I got another one of these base plates. This is a um, block base plate that I'm going to be using as a background uh, for a project or as a base for a project. If um, hopefully, hopefully, if everything goes well and I feel better to start doing these projects. I got some more cubes. These are some more woodcraft cubes. These are, what size are these? I'm thinking two by two. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's what size they are. I got a few of those. I got some of these organizing baskets. I like these. These are like more solid, um, uh, more sturdy than the others that they have. And what I like about these is they come in different shapes and different pastel colors, and they work quite well to make a gift basket. They are not too shallow and they are not too deep. So they make a great uh, basket to make uh, nice gifts. And I am one that loves making gift, gift baskets like for closing gifts, for anything, any special occasion, baby showers, things of that sort, because I like combining a lot of gifts in that basket that are very useful for the person. Then of course, I had to get some more of these because these are also great uh, gifts. And what I like to do with these is make, again, a nice closing gift and just add everything that I wanna add into this basket. I got some of uh, that millennial pink and, uh, or, you know, that more of the neutral pink and the gray. Um, these are nice for closing gifts, but what I like about these is that during spring and summer, these are nice uh, for any type of gift because you can put like all your beach stuff here and it doesn't matter if this gets sandy um, or anything like that or the park no matter if it gets dirty because all you can do is wipe it and and it's clean again so you could reuse it so just the thought when it comes to those baskets and I found some more woodwork I found that you can color yourself, but you know, I like to get these for two reasons. Uh, sometimes because the kids like to do crafts when I'm doing them. So I give them these for them to do, <laughs> let them get busy with that while I'm doing what I need to do. Um, so I got the fishbowl, I got the palm tree, and I got the hello summer sign. Um, so these are very nice to have handy. If you have grandbabies, if you have babies, you know, little, little ones that want to, you want to keep busy, those are something good to have. I found some quick lawn grass seed mixture. Um, I did see someone haul this and they actually said it worked. I don't remember who, what her name was, but it says quickly repairs thinning areas and bare spots. So I am going to, I bought two of these. I'm going to give this to my husband and see if he can make this work. Because we do have, actually our grass has never looked to this green with all the rain that we've been having, but there are some little spots that may need this. So I'm going to give it to him and see if it works for our lawn. Then I found this um, cup, vase, I don't know what you can call it. Uh, it's a tumbler, <laughs> that's what it says. But I will be using it as a base. And it is, you know, it's not glass. It looks like glass, but it's not, it's plastic. Um, so I got one. And that was, you know, I was having some ideas on what I was going to craft. Um, I found a 12 pair of disposable shoe covers. I love using these to show houses, so I carry them with me in my car. So I'm glad I found them. I found a nightlight that's a turtle. These, you could do many things with them. You could remove the, glue, the, the glued uh, piece and have two turtles on a flat surface if you want to craft with them or use paint it and use it as what it is a night light 
or use the 3D option and do it, uh, you know, apply it to a craft. I also got some command, 3M command uh, hanging hooks. It comes with two. So I went ahead and got a pack of those. Another stencil, which is beach time. I told you I got quite a few stencils. We're gonna see how they work. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, depending on what you paint with. I got another one of these. It's a, a it's just a little, um, what do you call it? I'm trying to remember the word and I can't. Um, but it's a decoration and um, it does have the wooden beads, which most likely I'll be removing because I'm thinking of using this as a base uh, for a project. I did get one before, but I found that one and you can even change, you can do many things with this. Like you can leave it this way and just change the background. If you don't want the tropical state of mind, you can all put your own scrapbook paper and do your own um a quote or anything like that then i found these these are flocking balls i got the light blue and the off-white for um decor and then these are nice right here um as you can see it's a very nice what do you call it candle holder candle motif but i will be using it for something different but look at how gorgeous these are so I got a set of those. I got a pair of the crafting crafter square scissors. And I also found this little thing here. I mean, for a dollar, why not try it? It is an aroma diffuser by Be Pure. So we will give this a try for a dollar. Let's see if it works. Um, a, some water squirters for <laughs> my grandbabies. They love they love squirting raw water at each other and bubbles so i learned that the girls and the boys i got some table tennis uh balls that i need for a craft sometimes you probably wonder what in the world is she doing with what she's buying you'd be surprised the things that you can do with what you find then i got some burlap ribbon in this color right here they have green, they have the regular color, and then they have brown and orange, I believe, because they are getting ready for fall. I got two packs of the poly rope, and there's times that I use this for crafting. I also got two of these, and these are mats, and I am going to be doing a um, some pillowcases with these, and you'll see how that turns out. Um, I got two because I wanted them for my sofa, so I wanted two. And then I found these flower sack towels. I know some of you have found these before, and I hadn't had a chance to find them, but um, they're quite big. They are 30 inches by 36. I got two, so we'll see what we can do with these. And I got this beautiful carafe. To me, that's what it looks like. Uh, it is from Christar. It's not a Greenbrier brand, but it is a nice one. I should have gotten two. Like I was saying, it reminds me of a carafe. Basically, I, I, um, I should have gotten two because these would serve a great purpose for orange juice, uh, and milk or orange juice and apple juice, whatever you drink in the morning for breakfast. I am not a breakfast fan, but my family is. And I, it had been a very, very long time since I found these cutting boards at the Dollar Tree. Um, it, it has, it has been a while. So I'm glad I found them. I went ahead and got six of them because it, it's a hard, it's a hard item for me to find. And I love crafting with these, whether I chuck it, whether I just, um, you know, it, um, craft them as a board, just the board alone. Either way, uh, there's many things that I can do with them. And they are, um, they're super nice, very um, well made. They are bamboo, bamboo cutting board. And what size is the thickness? I mean, it's a pretty thick board. I would say one fourth, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. And the last bag is the one I have here. I went ahead and got another one of these. 
because I do crack with this. I Most of the time what I do is I pull it all apart and use the frame. Um, but And then everything else, I use it for different uh, crafts. And then I found this one too. It says, This is Us. Um, I may be removing the This Is Us and doing something else with this or painting it. I don't know. But I like it when I get, when I find those wooden frames that are in, you know, good shape. I got more jewel border stickers. Um, I also found a happy birthday letter banner in gold. I found one in silver. Those are good to keep for birthdays and stuff like that. I found the DIY wind chime, the summer one. I also found the, the, the sale and I found protective wrap film for mailing. I do mail a lot of packages. I went ahead and got another package of these because these work quite well to do tiered trays. And uh, that's something that's coming up as well, you know, uh, making a tiered tray and decorating it. Last but not least, I found a mint cling shade and this uh, is by Dickies. Um, and it, like I said, it's that's the color that it is, and it's and it's a cling that you you just cling it to your window, I guess, to protect you uh, from the from the sun. So it says, press on static cling film helps protect passengers against heat and glare. No glue holds by static cling helps reduce glare, see through for visibility. So I, this was the only one that I found. So I'm, I was super, super excited that I was able to find that one. And that is it. That's everything that I found uh, during this haul. And I hope you're able to find uh, some of the items that you are looking for. I know not every Dollar Tree is the same, but hopefully you're able to find what you're looking for. These were a lot of new things that I found. Uh, my favorites were definitely the Disney stencils and these. If I could find more of these, that would be great. Um, oh, and of course, last but not, I mean, the, the, the other favorite was that I was able to find my disposable shoe covers for my showings. Um, those have been really hard to find right now and they have been getting super expensive. So finding 12 pairs for a dollar, it was definitely a decent deal, a good deal. So um, if I could find some more, I will definitely purchase them. But that is it, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I am just getting back to this and I felt the need to talk to all of you and show you everything that I had purchased before all of this, um, happened to our family and uh, I just want to say thank you for all the support. I forgot a few items. I told you that I had purchased another Disney stencil because I like having two and then I got the Frozen one as well. I think this is such a cute one and I will definitely um, be trying all of that. Um, I forgot another bag. <laughs> squeeze applicator bottles i found a pack i found some uh, um figurines in the toy section from the incredibles i got violet i found some dc ones which is um wonder woman i got elastigirl And then I got Superman. I got some of the laser cut craft icons. Um, my favorites uh, were these that had the dolphins, the bears, and the fish. And then of course the other one has more dolphins, penguins, and whales. Um, so these are definitely some of my favorites. Um, I love the sea animals and I love the sea so I thought that would be good to have handy in case I want to do a project. Um, I did get some more brush buddies, the charcoal um, toothbrushes, and then I got the Mega Glow Wet n Wild Halo in pink. 
um i do have this one in that like that champagne gold tone so the pink one was a good one to find then i got some more cut craft laser cut craft uh words this one says cherish cherish <laughs> it says cherish that's what i was trying to say then i found some uh Derbera clips and these are nice to use on your wreaths or your crafts, any craft. Some craft funnels, three different sizes. If you wish to transfer, you know, certain uh, liquids or paints or anything that you're using to craft from one container to another, that's a good thing to get. Uh, then I found the Maybelline Shine Shot Prismatic Lip Top Coat. Another crafting crafter square pair of uh, craft scissors and then some uh, craft uh, floral foam balls the small ones these uh, I can definitely use I don't have I didn't have small ones but I do now so that is it now that I am definitely done with this Dollar Tree haul and I hope to see you on our next one um, thank you for all your support and don't forget to subscribe have a good day an amazing day. Bye.